Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Monday morning. Just got the feeding done. I've got the cattle trailer. And there's the combine and the grain cart right there. So Cody's got about 100 acres of beans cut now. Um, but I've got the cattle trailer. We're going out here to this pasture and we're going to round up 26 or 27 calves that are out here. And we're gonna get them brought back to the barn because they are getting huge. As you'll see here whenever I show you, they are huge calves. So they were born in February. It is October 7th today. So it's time to get them out because they're getting so big. They were getting so big they couldn't get in their creek feeders. So they're out of creek feed now and uh, so we're gonna get them out here. So Evan's coming to help me. So I'll have some help here to get this done and then we'll get them back, get them in the barn. Then we'll have to work them sometime this week um, whenever we get some time. Okay, well, a lot of time has passed since this morning, but we're cutting soybeans with the 780. So they're a little green, and I just got in some cuckleburrs, so that looks terrible back there. Um, but there's still a few green ones out here, but um, I don't know, they may blend off and be fine. So just trying to get started here running. It's already 7 o'clock, so. I'm gonna have to quit here after a bit, but I'm um, at least getting everything going and hopefully we can hit it hard tomorrow um, But just trying to get everything dialed in I'm gonna hop out here in a second and check some loss See how it's doing. It's showing a little bit of loss so you can see the bars are over the green there So we're showing a little bit of loss, but that's okay We'll get out and figure it out here in a minute Cutting 3530 uh, enlist backs so they're from what the monitor says they're doing good right now I don't know how accurate my monitor is but anyways but I'm going to shut it down right now and I'm gonna hop out all right I got out here and looked um, we've got a few pods that are slipping through in the machine so we're gonna tighten down a little bit but I don't know it doesn't look awful so we'll keep going here for a minute Okay, just got done for the night. I gotta get this mask off. Just got done for the night, so blew off the combine. And uh, it was getting getting pretty tough, so just went in and called it. It's kind of hard to set the combine while it's getting tough, so. Got a little bit cut, got everything going. Everything's kind of working, so we'll start again tomorrow. I'm down here at the barn looking at the calves that we weaned today. As you can see, they're pretty big, um, but they're balling. They don't really know what's going on. They left their moms, so they all look pretty good, though. We had one wild one today that gave us a lot of trouble. He escaped when we were loading him. I think it was number 100. He escaped when we were loading him, and it was a hassle to get him back in. He's wild, but we got them all here, so... They'll quit balling here in the next couple days. Okay, it's Tuesday, and we are finally getting something done after a while. It took us a while to get to this point, but it is like 6 or 5.45, and I've got 21 acres done. So I got started today. It was probably like 1.45, I think, and immediately as I got started, the auger in the middle of the head quit turning so that was a problem I had to take the head off and the chain ended up coming off of that I guess it got loose or something so anyways finally got that fixed after like two hours and now we're back going so hopefully we're gonna actually get a good chunk of this knocked out here tonight and I know Cody's doing a couple fields around home cool. He was out north of town where we had probably uh, 150 acres of commercial beans along with about 200 acres of seed beans. He ran the commercial beans. We're waiting on the seed beans a little bit because they've still got some green in them. So we're gonna wait on those a little bit. So he went ahead and moved back towards uh, the main farm. We got a few patches around there cut so that's what he's doing there today so 
he's been working all day on that. And probably hasn't got very many acres done doing what he's doing, but uh, working at something nonetheless. So uh, I'm still rolling here, and we'll hope that everything keeps going. Uh, I've got some green ones here along the edge, so I'm just taking a little bit of them at a time and trying to run them through. Uh, they're, they're not too bad. I got some pods and crap back there, but uh, overall it's not doing too bad. Okay, everything was going great until it stopped going great and uh, now it's going pretty bad so first thing is uh, my left draper belt which has been an enemy of mine for a while um, yet decided to come off track and so I had to get that back on then I got going again and Trevor came over and was unloading me on the go and then I got empty and I started hearing this big banging back behind me so I shut it off and started manually turning it and I got up there and quickly found that the unloading the front horizontal auger in the grain tank is broken in half so uh, we're gonna come over here pull the truck around start tearing it down pull it out and see if it's fixable or if we're just going to get a whole new auger um, hopefully we can fix it but I don't know how that'll go okay it's Wednesday, I think. I think so. Um, and we're back going. So we ended up just welding the auger back together. It really wasn't as big of a deal as what I was thinking it was going to have to be. So we got that welded back together and it seems to be working pretty good here. Um, getting close to being done with this field. I got about 10 acres left. And then we'll finally have this one knocked out. So doing pretty good. The beans are good. And Trevor's running the grain cart for me, so I'm not having to stop or anything, so really knocking it out now, but uh, it just took a while to get everything going and get everything working after sitting all winter, and that auger broke, uh, which I think it's kind of a design flaw anyways. It's got a, like a thing on the end where it broke on the auger side, so on the discharge side. Um, and it's got a thing in there on the auger, um, I don't know what you would call it, but it helps fling the grain into the vertical auger. And that thing has it like completely out of balance, so like the auger is not spinning in balance. Like there's this big weight on the one side of it. And so it, whenever it runs, it's basically just sitting there like beating on the bearing and you know the shaft is shaking and so I, I think that's kind of a design flaw on that part so they did sub out the new part number um, so I'm thinking that they maybe changed something with that but there's no way to get a new one we, we ordered a new one um, but they're on back order at deer and so you literally can't get one so uh, I'm glad we got that fixed. Hopefully it holds for a while and you know, we can get through the season, but you never know. So we're going to hopefully finish this up and then we're going to have to make a decision on what we're going to do with this combine. Uh, Cody's up towards the farm running beans and some patches and stuff, so he's working on that. But I don't really know where we want to go next exactly. All right, we got the last strip for this field. So that'll be 65 acres done. And it took us three days to do it with all the breakdowns and everything. So uh, not the greatest, but we're gonna get her done. So I guess I'm gonna figure out here in a minute what we're gonna head off and do next. All right, well, I haven't been very good at filming today, but uh, we are back here at the farm now. Um, I went and did another uh, 40 acre field up the road here and so we got that done and then I went and tried another field and it will not go so down here at the farm doing this little patch Cody's still working up in a 70 acre field um, they're making pretty good so it's kind of been slow going for him because I had to have the cart 
for the field that I was doing today. So uh, he's working on that. Hopefully I'm going to knock this out here tonight. And then we should be ready to go and run some seed beans tomorrow. But Dad went and picked up a uh, new toy today. We got a new gravity wagon. So we've been wanting one of these for a long time. I'm going to make the first dump on it. Um, should hold five, it says it five, holds 550 bushels. So uh, we'll see how much it holds. Okay, we are moving combines, so it is Friday afternoon, and we've got two combines, grain cart, and the gravity wagon. So here's a couple fields where Colton worked after we combined the beans. So we got that worked and laid in some cover crops, so that'll be coming up here once it gets some moisture, and that's gonna turn out really nice. So. Uh, right now we're coming out here to try to cut to some seed beans so hopefully they'll cut and we'll be able to run two combines we got about 220 acres right here we got to do uh, so Cody cut these beans the other day and the other ones weren't quite quite ready yet so we're gonna try to knock them out now because I think it's dried out enough that they'll, yes, they that they'll run all right we got it out here we're out here north of town and filling up with some fuel and then Cody's going ahead and getting his head on and everything so um, I think he dropped my head over there so should be able to just run over and put it on and then they're going to be cutting the beans there behind me. Alright we're rolling now. Uh, we're almost getting around the field here. Uh, we did our clean out and got everything clean, flushed out and so we're rolling now. 40 foot drapers we've got a 110 acre field here so hopefully we're gonna knock this thing out Right. It's Sunday evening. I haven't been doing a very good job of videoing with uh, combining these beans out here. So I've been running seed beans. Just got done with this variety. I've been having some trouble getting my combines set up and, and everything. But we got it now. It was doing pretty good whenever we finished up. But we just finished up this variety in this 110-ish acre field. So we're all done. And blew off the combine so we're gonna get them brought back to the farm we're rolling out of here uh, somebody's gonna bring us back to get the trucks Colton's been staying right behind us with the Salford and the cover crop uh, with the 8430 and the Salford with the cover crop cedar on it so he's uh, already started in his field but we just called it a night here on Sunday night. So we're gonna get these moved back to the farm out here. And then I think Cody's gonna put his in the barn for now. And then I'm gonna try to run some corn out here tomorrow. Just came back to get the draper heads. So got them both. We're gonna bring them back to the farm on our way. <laughs> 